Have you ever wondered why you're paying more for your groceries in England? Well, you're not alone. The rising cost of goods, particularly groceries, has become a hot topic and there's a reason behind it all. Inflation, a term you've probably heard thrown around a lot recently, is the prime suspect. Inflation, in its simplest form, is the rate at which the general level of prices for goods and services is rising and subsequently purchasing power is falling. When inflation rises, your pound buys less than it did before. Now, let's delve a bit deeper. Over the past few years, England, like many other countries, has been experiencing increased inflation rates. The Bank of England's target inflation rate is 2% per annum. But in recent times, it has far exceeded this goal. The cause? A multitude of factors. There's the impact of Brexit, which has led to increased import costs. Then there's the global pandemic, which has disrupted supply chains, leading to a rise in the cost of goods. And let's not forget about the increase in energy prices, which has further driven up the cost of living. So what does this mean for the average person? Simply put, it means that the cost of living in England is rising. It's not just about paying a few extra pence for a loaf of bread or a pint of milk. It's about the cumulative effect of these price increases across all goods and services. It means that households have to stretch their budgets further and make tough decisions about what they can and can't afford. But it's not all doom and gloom. The government and the Bank of England are aware of the situation and are taking steps to address it. Interest rates have been increased in an attempt to curb inflation and various measures are being implemented to ease the burden on households. To recap, the rising prices in grocery stores are largely due to increased inflation, which is being driven by factors such as Brexit, the global pandemic and rising energy costs. This has led to an increase in the cost of living, causing households to stretch their budgets and make tough financial decisions. However, steps are being taken to address this issue and alleviate the impact on households. Inflation and the cost of living are complex issues with no quick fixes. But by understanding the causes, we can better navigate these economic waves. Remember, knowledge is power and it is the first step in turning the tide. This concludes our discussion for today. Stay informed, stay savvy and most importantly, stay optimistic. Until next time. Scene script. Voice over. While we wait for the situation to improve, let's pivot our conversation towards a more proactive approach. Let's discuss some ways we can stretch our pounds further when shopping for groceries. Firstly, planning is key. One of the easiest ways to save money is by planning your meals for the week and creating a shopping list. This not only helps you avoid impulse purchases, but also ensures you're buying only what you need. Secondly, consider buying in bulk and taking advantage of sales whenever possible. Non-perishable items like rice, pasta and canned goods can be bought in larger quantities when they are on sale, saving you money in the long run. But remember, a bargain isn't a bargain if it ends up unused and wasted. Speaking of waste, our third point is about being mindful of what you throw away. A lot of food waste can be prevented by storing food correctly, using leftovers creatively, or even freezing excess food for later. And finally, consider shopping at discount grocery stores or farmers markets. These places often have lower prices and fresher produce. Remember, every little bit helps. By implementing these tips, you can make a difference in your grocery bills. So stay savvy, stay optimistic, and let's turn the tide together.